Welcome to this week's video. If you have been following the channel, we're building a RC car like this one over here and we can control everything with an Xbox controller. So I can steer the car for example and I can also move this camera gimbal. With two hands it's kind of difficult to show but I can also move the gimbal here and point the camera to wherever I want. And this works by having two main Python scripts that are running at the same time. One Python script is controlling the live stream from the camera via RTSP and then another Python script is controlling the, all the motors of the car. So the steering, uh, moving the car backwards and forwards and also the gimbal motors. And these Python scripts, they're running at the same time. So that means that whenever I want this car to work, I need to log into the Raspberry Pi and start those Python scripts manually. And last week I did a very good improvement to this, which is I converted those Python scripts to run as services, as systemd services. So whenever I boot up the Pi, all of those things are started automatically and then it's much easier for me to get going and control the car. So I decided to make a tutorial on this, on how you can use systemd services to convert any Python scripts that you want to run in the background uh, more easily. So let's get started with this tutorial and let's start building. All right, so before we start, let me show you the problem that I was having and why systemd services really improved this RC car. So right now I'm logged in on my uh, Raspberry Pi and I can navigate to the folder where all of the source files are located. In this case, for me, it's here in the RC car, in the home directory. And if you wanna see the code for this, I'll leave the link up for my GitHub in the description so you can take your time and look and see how the RC car works. But pretty much, we're gonna to move to the source folder. And there, there's gonna be two folders, one for the client, that'll be my laptop, and another one for the host, that's the actual Raspberry Pi that we're using. So we can move on to that directory. And here, we're gonna have a bunch of folders. Uh, one of them is this cam folder, so I'm gonna navigate there. And here are some files that are responsible for the live stream of the camera. We're live streaming video via RTSP. And this cam.py script, that's the one that was, that's responsible for initiating this RTSP server. And I'll usually write uh, Python 3 uh, cam.py and simply run that script. So now my Raspberry Pi is ready to receive any clients that want to connect to this RTSP server and receive live video. So that will be running in the background. Now I need to make the car uh, start moving. So I need to control all the motors. And for that, that there's, there's another script that I use for that. So I'll open a new tab here on my terminal. I'll log into my Raspberry Pi once again. I'll navigate to the RC car folder, to the source, and then to the host folder. And there, there's gonna be this star.sh script. And I would run this bash script by doing bash uh, star.sh and that will actually start this UVI corn uh, server to receive WebSocket connections from my laptop that is taking inputs from this Xbox controller. So you see it's a lot of work for me to manually do all of that and systemd services really improved all these processes because at boot my Raspberry Pi can start all of the scripts without me having to log in and start everything automatically. So we can now get started on the tutorial on how we can actually configure systemd services to start these Python scripts. All right, so I got VS Code here started and we can actually look into this systemd services and how we can automate all these Python scripts being run in parallel. And first of all, systemd service uh, is a way for you to run multiple things in parallel in the background. So if your application requires you to run multiple things that are independent in a certain way, you can use systemd to have all of these things running at the same time. You can manage them in a more easy way. So you treat them as services, you can start them, you can stop them, you can disable them and that allows you to have a more modular way of looking at things where you can have different things running parallel and they're kind of independent of each other. In our case, as I said before, we have this camera service that's responsible only for creating this live stream and this other service that's independent that's only responsible for running all of the motors in the car, right? And we're gonna do all that with systemd services. And the first thing we gotta do for that is to actually write a dot .service file like this one here. And I have here a example. So in my directory here, I created a new folder called config, and that's gonna hold all of the configuration files that we need for this project. But if we look actually into this file here, we're gonna have a, a unit section. We're gonna just give it a name to our service. And this after here means that we're gonna be running this systemd service after all of our network initializations have been done. So because we need uh, all the network stuff to be working already for our RTSP server, that's important. And here, that's the most important part, that's when you actually uh, tell them what you want to do. So in this case here, which command are we gonna be uh, running? What's the entry point of our program? 
and exact start we're going to ben be running our python script so we're going to simply be linking our python 3 path in this case it's in our virtual environments where all the libraries are already installed and simply here is the path of where the script is in our case it's the cam.py script working directory that's if your python script uh, uses some relative locations and it's important to have a working directory here because it's going to change to that directory before it runs your your python script but in my case it wasn't that important i would have here restart so if something goes wrong with your script then we're going to be restarting always and the user that we're going to be running is the rpy it can be different in your case and here we have this environment variable called a python unbuffered and right now that sets one and I found that it was important to show the loggings of our scripts in the systemd uh, logs. So for some reason, if this wasn't there, then if I had some print statements, for example, for debugging that I used, they wouldn't be shown directly in the logs because it would be sent to a buffer and it wouldn't be shown directly. Uh, with this environmental variable set, we are telling them to show the message whenever it happens. So if we're logging something, it's going to be shown uh, right away. And finally, here we have this install section. Here, uh, you can control whether these services are going to be started when the Raspberry Pi boots. So in our case, we, we want that. We want whenever we connect uh, the power to the, our Raspberry Pi that all of these things are running so we can already connect and get going. So we're going to set uh, this here for the uh, wanna buy field. At the same time, I have here a service for the car. So this is a service that's going to control all of the motors, including the servo motors for the gimbal of the camera, for steering, and also the DC motor to move forward and backwards. And it's pretty much the same thing. All of the things here are the same. The things that I changed was uh, basically the description and also the script, of course. In this case, we're running a bash script this time that's starting this uh, star.sh script. The working directory uh, is still the same and all of the other things are also the same. So. We're just creating these two files that are going to be responsible for actually describing what we want the service to do. All right, now that we have written our car.service file and also the cam.service file, we need to move them to a special location on the Raspberry Pi that systemd can look at and see that those are services that we want to be run. And for that, I created this install.sh script over here. And the first thing we need to do is to copy those files to this special location. And we're going to be copying then the cam.service file to slash etc slash systemd slash system location and that's the place where systemd is going to be able to see all of our service files and understand that those are services we want to be run we do that simply by copying the file over there and then we're going to be finally using systemctl that's a tool that you use to interact with systemd you can start stop services you can enable them for example and we're going to be running this command here uh, daemon reload that's going to be telling systemd that we made changes to the configuration and it needs to reload them so it knows the changes we made if we add a new service for example it now knows that we have new services that need to be run then we're going to be enabling both the cam and the car and notice here that uh, it automatically understands cam and car as new services because the file itself is called cam.service and car.service and finally we use systemctl to finally start that cam and the car service as well. All right, so I copied all those files to the Raspberry Pi now. Again, all of that GitHub repository is mirrored in this Raspberry Pi. So now we have that install.sh file that I talked before. And you can see here, here in the source file folder, and you also go to the host. There, there should be a config folder now. So I can go to the config folder. And here you find the service files that we've written and also the install.sh script that I showed you earlier. And we're simply gonna be running then this install.sh script that's gonna be copying the service files to that special location, enabling them and starting everything. So I run that, we ask for a password because I ran that as uh, the super user. And once you put the password in, it should run everything and now everything is set up. So the first thing that I would like to do here is to actually see if those services are running or what's the status of them. And there's this command called systemctl status and you can run that for cam. And here you can see already that it recognized the new service, it's active and running. And you see here the logs from the file itself. So we're now hosting the RTSP server on this port here and also the, the pipeline that we're running, right? And that is already running so I can press Q to quit 
and I can also go now and see the status of the car service. And you hear it's also active, it's running, and you also see all the logs from that. So if everything's ready, then I should be able to then run the client script on my laptop and be able to control the car already. One thing that's interesting here is that I can now control these services independently. So if I want to stop the car, for example, I can do uh, sudo systemctl stop car and that's going to be stopping the car. So now all the motors are disabled again, right? So I can now check the status of the car and you see here now it's inactive, right? So I can control them independently now. I can now uh, start it again by running systemctl start and if I check it's active again and I can be controlling my car as before. All right, so for the final demonstration, I'm here at the Raspberry Pi. I can then check the status of my services. So I'm gonna do systemctl status car. I can see that's active, that's running, right? I can now run the same thing for the cam. It's also running. So now in theory, everything should be okay. So if I go now to VS Code here, I'm on my laptop again. I can finally run the client.py folder, uh, file, sorry. And now I have here my, my car, right? I have the Xbox controller, and now we can control the gimbal as well as the, the steering, and the car can also move, right? So the motors are running. Now the question is, can we actually see video from the live stream? And because the camera service is also running in parallel, I can simply open here uh, VLC, for example and we can try to access the stream from the camera. And then you see here that's also working, right? So uh, those two services are running independently and I can start them and stop them much easier. And the good thing is when I turn off the Raspberry Pi and turn it on again, everything's automatically started without me having to go there and actually start those things manually. But that's pretty much what I have for today's video. With systemd services now, we can actually start those Python scripts in a much easier way. Everything's automatic and those things run independently from each other. And so if you like the video, you can subscribe to the channel. Every week we try to post tutorials that are project-based like this one. So stay tuned and I see you next time. Thank you.